Joseph Robinette Biden Jr. has been sworn in as the 46th President of the United States of America. With his hand on a five-inch thick, 128-year-old Bible from his family, Joe Biden recited the oath of office in a ceremony administered by the Chief Justice John G. Roberts. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear. I, Joseph Robinette Biden Jr., do solemnly swear. That I will faithfully execute. That I will faithfully execute. The office of President of the United States. Office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of my ability. Will, to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. So help you, God. So help me, God. Congratulations, Mr. Thank President. You. Taking office at a historic moment of profound economic, health, and political crisis, Biden has entered office with a promise to seek unity after a tumultuous four years of deeply divided nation. Constitution of the United States. Constitution of the United States. So help you God. Mm -hmm. So help me God. Congratulations, Mr. Thank President. You. Joining us on this broadcast is uh, we on correspondent Jagruti Dave, who's live from Washington. Uh, Jagruti, uh, you know, as uh, Biden was taking uh, oath, he tweeted around the same time, "It's a new day." for America. But the fact remains that Biden has inherited a country which is deeply divided, isn't it? Uh, we uh, saw that during the Black Lives Matter protest. We also saw that during the storming of the Capitol Hill earlier in January. Yes, and I think it would be uh, folly to uh, argue that uh, with the inauguration of a new president, those divisions are suddenly eradicated from American society. They were there uh, before the election, they were there during the election, and they clearly still persist. And that is the challenge that Joe Biden and his administration face. What are they going to do to try to heal those divisions? Is it even possible? Are those divisions so deeply entrenched that you know politics has become so tribal that uh, it, you know that, that there's a chasm between uh, the two sides, between left and right, between uh, Democrats and uh, you know the, between uh, between Trump supporters and uh, left and people on the left? Is there is that is that chasm surpassable? And I think Joe Biden is offering, he thinks, that message of hope to say that. That he thinks those divisions can be healed, that Americans can unite and come together. But of course, um, with the Senate split as it is, 50-50 uh, between Republicans and Democrats, with the, um, the split within the Republican Party itself between those who continue to uh, staunchly back President Donald Trump and those who are perhaps hoping for um, a split with that era. And there's also, remember, divisions within the Republican between the Democratic Party itself, between those um, who are on the left of the party who want radical policies and radical change and those who are on the moderate side who uh, want to uh, perhaps uh, take slower set steps in order to uh, appeal to uh, some of the more uh, cautious, uh, some of the more Republican uh, v v leaning voters. You know, those are all, there's all sorts of fractures, fra uh, factions and fractures within American society that this administration is going to really have to navigate uh, quite delicately. Jagruti, uh, new U.S. President Joe Biden also signed a string of executive orders. Can you just elaborate on the initial steps taken by the new Biden administration? Yeah, Joe Biden has announced a slew of executive orders just hours after being inaugurated as the 46th president. Uh, some of those executive orders are uh, a reversal of Trump era policies. So that's uh, whether that is bringing the United States back into the Paris Climate Accord, rejoining the World Health Organization, um, halting funding uh, to uh, to the border wall. Um, that was one of the prized policies of the Trump era. Uh, 
uh, reversing, uh, creating a pathway to citizenship for millions of young um, uh, young people who are in America, um, who are undocumented um, in America, brought brought to this country when they were children. Um, you know, these are just some of the many policies that uh, that Joe Biden is reversing through uh, executive orders. Um, one of those uh, is also, and we are expecting several more COVID-19 related announcements, but one of those was a mask mandate on federal property and physical distancing by uh, people who are on federal property, obviously with a nod to the uh, coronavirus pandemic, which has taken more than 400,000 American lives. I think a significant uh, change in tone and policy from this administration compared to the previous on the coronavirus um, a a a pandemic is definitely something we're going to be looking out for. Jagdeep Dave, thank you so much for joining us from Washington. We on is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.